Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down with the ever wonderful Matt Leacock. Hey. Hi. Hey, <laughs> and you brought us the first expansion to Pandemic the Cure, the DICE implementation of Pandemic. That's which right. Is Experimental Meds. <laughs> Yeah, so Experimental Meds is a super expansion. It's, uh, so says Mox. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of freaking dice in here. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, we, you know, we when we're developing the base game, there's some rolls that didn't quite fit, didn't quite balance, um, and then we developed them up. And this is Tom Lehman and I, uh, because we worked on this together, and we just as got an explosion of yeah, the past as we did as well. in the past on the board game. It's just an explosion of rolls, so it's really fun. <laughs> This is going to add a, just a ton of variety to the uh, I mean, literally cure. doubles the amount of rolls. I think it's, it's more, done. yeah. So the base game, I believe, has seven different rolls, and this one adds um, eight, right? So you, you get your epidemiologist, your quarantine specialist, celebrity activist, troubleshooter, archivist, you know, all your favorites from the base game. You got the operations expert, field director, <laughs> field operative. Um, and they all come with uh, their own unique uh, dice. So um, as in the base game, the, the five dice here are the same, but each roll has their own um, roll-specific dice. Yeah. Now we also have uh, some purple dice. That's right. So in addition to mixing up the game right, with the rolls. Right, because you could just play the base game yeah, just with new right. rolls. You get a tremendous amount of variety just there. Exactly. So, but, so that's wait, there's one more. slice. Yeah, you can add the mutation challenge. So this is 12 additional dice that you can add into the infection bag. Now you might think that's going to make things a little bit easier one, on one side because you've got more dice, it's not going to run out. Uh, but you've got one more, um, you've got one more disease to cure, right? And these also behave a little differently. So they've got the typical numbers on them, like four and, and uh, five, etc. Adding to a region. Uh, and the cross, but um, there's also these sides. So when you roll a minus one, you take a die out of the infection bag. And uh, take this, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it. Well, push the celebrity activist to the side. Very there, good. Bit. Got it. So this is the extra disease you need to cure, and these are the special sides on it. So when you roll a minus one, you take a die out of the infection bag and throw it out of the game, and then you re-roll it. And, and you it might, might happen it, again. Yeah, you might happen again, right? <laughs> so it's a not necessarily a terminating game, and we'll play forever. No, um, <laughs> so this will pull a die out of the bag. This one, you pull an additional die out of the bag, and then you roll that new die plus this die together, and so you know, then you might get that kind of result. So they have these really swingy, kind of crazy effects on, on the game. Also then, when you're trying to get the cure, uh, you roll these, and um, so in this, in this example, you're rolling a two, and you're subtracting two, so your result is a zero, right? <laughs> but you might also get other um, results, where you've got a five times two is 10, times two is 20, so more than, more than cured it. So it's got some interesting uh, effects on the on So time. it's possible to roll a cure very easily. It's possible that the statistics could swing dramatically yeah, so it's just against swingier. you. It's just swinging, yeah. yeah. So and that's a whole pie slice right, right. to itself that you so could play. So that's a challenge, the mutation challenge. With or without something else. Right. And the last one is the hot zone challenge. And what this does is it adds um, up to 11 of these green hot zone dice. And they've got different effects on them. So when you, when you play the game, you put one of these on each of the different segments of the, I don't have the um, infection ring here. But uh, you put them on the different sections of the ring. Remember the base game? <laughs> and every time there's an epidemic, you, add, you roll one of these and add it into a region. So um, they have different effects. So some of them are good effects, like these, uh, these white, white sides. This allows you to actually move a die to an adjacent region, which can be really handy, or uh, to re-roll a biohazard. So you can have some kind of control over the number of biohazard symbols you're rolling in your player dice if you, if you plan appropriately. Others uh, have nasty effects that um, will, will come up when uh, infection dice are placed in a zone. And they're all summarized in a, a handy little hot zone effects card. So you can look them up here. It might mean that a disease is harder to cure in the area, or it's harder to travel to the area, or outbreaks are worse, that sort of thing. Um, and then you can mitigate these things by traveling to the region and um, spending uh, crosses in order to reroll those dice. So it gives a, a different regional flavor. You know, not all the regions are exactly the same. Well, aside from the fact that some regions are stronger in colors, but now you have yeah, even Yeah, so it just adds a little flavor and it, it modifies uh, the different places, uh, sometimes for good, sometimes for worse. And you have to decide, do I want to spend crosses on um, 
uh, different event cards or do we want to spend them to mitigate these effects that might be really nasty? Speaking of event cards, yeah, we have a whole new batch so of event another, cards. So um, there's I believe it's uh, 11 event cards, something like that. So a good chunk of new events that you can slide in there, make your event deck a little thicker, add some more variety in there, and then you're not cycling through the, the deck multiple times and just, again, just adds more variety. To and any game. one of these pieces we've talked about are all Combinable, you could play with yeah. hot zones and the mutation. Exactly, they're all plug and, and play. So you can <laughs> yeah. uh, you mix up all the mm -hmm. roll cards, you shuffle them all up. You got like uh, 15 of them, and you deal two out to each player, and then you decide which roll do I want, and you kind of form your team that way, and then decide what kind of uh, add-ons you want to throw in. So you can play with the whole the whole uh, whole kit if you want, or you can just add a little bit at a time. That's why it's super, super expansion. expansion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt, thank you so much for uh, giving us a sneak peek of what to expect. If you guys are big fans of The Cure, make it bigger and better and more awesome with uh, Experimental Meds. Great. Thanks, Thank Beth. you so much. Great. Take care.